The game of basketball lost one of its all-time greats yesterday in Kobe Bryant. Uh, it was a shocking occurrence, came out of nowhere, and it threw off a lot of things. Although the NBA did not end up canceling any of its games yesterday, or at least postponing them as many expected they would, a lot of things were thrown off by this news. I, I had planned... On doing a show yesterday, a Mavs Fast Break live stream at about 3.30. And the closer it got to that starting time, I think I got within about 30, 40 minutes. I just eventually came to realize, you know what? This isn't the day for this. You know, bas it is news related to basketball dominating the, the news cycle here in this case. But it's not, it doesn't feel appropriate to talk about a couple Mavericks trades, even though I want to, and I wanted to talk as well about the couple games right before that, the the Jazz and Portland games. But all the same, this uh this threw everything off, and I've been trying to kind of gather my thoughts on how I wanted to talk about this. I don't know that I have it sorted out, but I'm gonna do my best here, and I'll I'll try and be brief. I know this is obviously. The Dallas prospect, and we talk typically Dallas teams, specifically the Mavericks as basketball is concerned, but I I feel like when it's an all-time great like this, you have to at least step onto a different path briefly to talk about it because this is huge news. So yesterday, Kobe Bryant, yesterday morning, uh, was on a helicopter flying with his daughter, Gianna, who was 13, and six other passengers to, I guess, one of her basketball games. And we don't know why or how yet, but the helicopter went down and crashed. A brush fire was started uh, from the crash, which then delayed first responders actually getting to the scene. And there were no survivors. Kobe Bryant was only age 41. I said earlier, his daughter, Gianna, 13 years old, and it's it's an absolute tragedy. I mean, Kobe Bryant, the, you know, when you talk about all-time greats in the NBA, whatever order you want to put them in, the, the top three are generally accepted as Jordan, Kobe, and LeBron. Whatever order you want to put them in, you know, it's all a matter of preference, but for myself, becoming a a basketball fan, like a, a watching every Mavericks game fan in the 2002-2003 season. Kobe, I didn't get to see Jordan play except for that last year of his career with the Wizards. I mean, like, regularly watch him play. Obviously, I've gone back since then, and I saw him sporadically before that. But I saw pretty much all of Kobe's career. And it's the closest thing to Jordan we got. I mean, he is really the next generation's Jordan, even though their careers overlapped by about, I think, seven years. Kobe came in in 96. So it's, man, it's crazy where, you know, Kobe at 41 years old, he retired, I think, in 2016. And he, he you look at that and you're like, okay, you have your whole future ahead of you. His short film, Dear Basketball, which was a poem he wrote when he retired, uh, won an Oscar for the short film. So really, really cool stuff. Uh, short film, short animation. Um, he, d he did a lot, and he became a great ambassador to the game. His basketball presence, his competitive mentality, his crazy insane work ethic and all of that made him stand out and made him influence and inspire millions of basketball fans around the world. I mean, this was a smart, nuanced man. It was, it was what, a month ago that we were talking about uh, him talking with Luca on Luca's inbounding the ball and Kobe kind of jokingly trash talks Luca, but he's trash talking him in Slovenian. And that kind of caught Luca's ear, like, what the heck? I hear my language. And he turns around and it's Kobe. Like, it's it's crazy how cultured Kobe was in that regard. And as as is the case with any man, and I'm not gonna go into particulars on this, as is the case with any man, you're going to have 
your your good and your bad. You're going to have uh, blemishes here and there, and obviously it depends on the individual and it depends on the circumstances. Some for some, the blemishes are worse than for others. I really don't want to get into that. But as far as a basketball player, Kobe's impact is undeniable. And he was an ambassador to the game. He was a very loving, caring father. You saw the way that he supported his daughters, including Gianna, basically viewing it like to him it wasn't even a question. She was going to be a WNBA player. He saw that same Mamba spirit in her that he had throughout his career. And he was a supporter of the WNBA and women athletes. Like he was really, really, um, he was just a great ambassador for the league. You talk about a guy like this, 20 seasons. I know Dirk edged that out with 21 with the Mavericks, but 20 seasons for Kobe with the Lakers. It was the record for most seasons with a single team. You're talking about a five-time champion, two-time finals MVP, 18-time All-Star, 2008 MVP, two-time Olympic gold medalist. Like Kobe's resume is about as untouchable as it gets. I mean, he modeled a lot of his game after Michael Jordan, and he idolized him. And you saw it. I mean, you've seen a lot of those clips edited together where Michael Jordan will do a move, and then it pivots... Uh, to Kobe doing the same exact move and the gestures, whether it's the MJ shrug or kind of wagging the finger a little bit after making a great defensive play. You saw a lot of that. And he, MJ said it himself, Kobe is the closest to recapturing the essence of Michael Jordan that we've seen so far. LeBron is great. And, you know, depending on your conversation or your perspective, he might be the greatest of all time already. He might already be better than Michael Jordan, but he's a completely different type of player than Michael Jordan was. Kobe is much more uh, of a a closer comparison in that regard. So it's uh it's devastating, man, and it's it's not just. I know we're talking about Kobe. Obviously, at forty one, you think he got so much more life left, but his daughter, thirteen, so so much ahead of her in that regard. And then you got the other people on board. You got the other seven people on board. And I know people aren't really talking about them because they see the celebrity status of Kobe and his daughter. It doesn't make the tragedy any less for them. I mean, you had, what was it? A a baseball coach at a local college there, his wife and daughter, who was a teammate on uh, the team, I believe the Mamba, I think is what Kobe's daughter's team was. Um, the pilot and you know several other people. I mean, it's it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible, and it it lit everything on fire because you looked at it and you you saw like the news just go nuts because this is so sudden, so out of nowhere. People look at it and they're wondering like, well, why is he taking a helicopter somewhere? Well, when you're a multi-million dollar athlete who, God, I don't even know how much Kobe made in his career, but when you've made that kind of bank throughout your career, your commuting to your daughter's basketball game is a little bit different than what we would do. The main thing to look at here is that you had Kobe still doing the good parent thing, like taking his kid to her game. And you saw not even very long ago, like him sitting on the sideline with his daughter courtside and he's pointing things out in the game and he's analyzing and breaking things down. You heard that for a while after his career, he didn't even really pay much attention to the NBA, but her drive and passion for the game kind of brought it back for him a little bit. And they had, if they weren't at games, they had league pass and they were watching everything. Like, that that was her passion, her drive, and that's why when people would ask Kobe about, uh, you know, like, oh, well, you don't have any sons, so how are you going to carry on this Mamba legacy and everything? He's like, I don't need a son to do that. I've got it right here. I've got Gianna. I've got her right here. She has every bit of that killer instinct, the Mamba mentality to carry that on, and he talked in interviews multiple times about her being a future WNBA star. 
and it's it's tragic, man. You got your entire life ahead of you, all these different experiences and everything. And for anyone on that helicopter, it is just gut wrenching. And you know, it is insanely weird as it felt yesterday, how reality just feels off kilter when something like this happens. I think it's weirder the next day because I woke up this morning and my first thought was, oh shit, that happened. Like it sets in, it sinks in for some reason, even though all day from yesterday morning when the news broke until the time I went to bed, I was in the loop on this thing. I was following the developments. I saw all the conversation about, and you know, I, I've, I admit, when I saw it was TMZ, not to get off on too much of a segue here, when I saw it was TMZ talking about the story, initially breaking the news, I immediately questioned its validity. I know that they get some stuff right, but their journalistic practices aren't great. I gotta say, man, salute to TMZ. They actually seemed like they were carefully verifying information before reporting shit. You had ABC News and CNN and other outlets who were supposed to be the mainstream media just garbage garbage journalistic practices i mean you were hearing everything from like oh there are four people on board oh no no there are five and uh abc news flat out said all of his daughters were on board with him so kobe and all four daughters were on board they claimed i mean unfortunately that, that's already horrible but then unfortunately you do have it eventually confirmed that it, gianna was on board with him which is just devastating but then you hear you know, just all these conflicting reports, all this speculation being reported as if it's fact. And you're like, I thought you guys were supposed to be the ones who actually knew what you were doing and actually cared about getting the truth out there, getting it right, as opposed to just getting the views in that moment. TMZ was actually careful and meticulous about it. They were the first ones to break the story. And then they took their time before they verified anything about his daughter being involved. And it's... It's awful, man. Kobe survived in this case by his wife and three remaining daughters. And I, I can't even fathom how hard that must be because Kobe's an icon of the game and influenced and inspired millions of people. And for the suddenness of this whole thing, it's just a gut punch. Like, And then you wake up today and it's you, real, you realize it's real. Like it it happened. It wasn't just some crazy nightmare, and this just is reality at this point. And time heals all wounds, so ev eventually this kind of off-kilter feel will level out more so. But it, it's all subjective in terms of how fast that is. For people who truly idolized him growing up, whether it was some kid in L.A. who watched his entire career, watched him grow into a man from 17 to 41... Whether it's that or just someone who's watched basketball uh, for the last couple decades and seen his entire career. Like, this is surreal. This is a beloved ambassador of the game, highly respected on the court, and his relentless, tireless work ethic. I mean, it, it's iconic. And we're talking about someone who woke up every morning at 4 o'clock, worked in multiple practices a day. Even when he came in the league, he was too young to go to clubs with the guys, with his teammates and all that after games. So what he would do, he would just get another workout in. He was working out three times a day, practicing three times a day compared to them doing twice a day. And he just built and built and built over the course of his career. And he talked about that a little bit in his poem, Dear Basketball. Basically just his absolute love for the game and how he gave every ounce of his mind, body, and soul to the game until eventually his body just couldn't do it anymore. And it's father time and all that. But he stepped away and he was at peace with his decision. And you kind of saw him now making these big changes in this next phase of his life. And it's just, it's tragic that it's just suddenly over and that we don't get to see what any of these other people involved or his daughter or anyone like that, uh, what more they could have done, what they could have contributed to their communities, to the world. And 
I don't know, man. This one, this one's gonna sting for a while. This is the first sports death that really hit me. Like I didn't even grow up a Laker fan, obviously, um, but I always respected Kobe's greatness, and it it was a gut punch. Like when I realized that it was real, it was a significant gut punch, and you know, honestly, I'm surprised I've been able to kind of piece together my thoughts to talk about it now because in my head I kind of ran through this segment three or four times in the last 24 hours and I just never felt like I had any idea how to articulate what I wanted to say so mm. if if any of us can do something I would say this as Kobe talks about his passion for the game his relentless dedication to it Find one thing in your life you care about the way Kobe cared about basketball as a player and then cared about his family as a father and a husband, specifically towards the end, post-career. And just do that. Like Dedicate yourself to anything the way he dedicated himself to the things he loved and was passionate about because you'll probably find greater value in your own life doing that. Or if you if you got a hobby or something that you really love, but you just don't have the time you think to commit to it, or you want to change a career path or something like that, just commit to it. Like commit to it and be relentless in your pursuit of it and your practice of it. And that's probably the best thing anyone can do. I mean, to some degree, that's what we're all trying to do, I think. So Kobe Bryant... R.I.P. 41 years old, Gianna 13 years old, way too early, way too young. This sucks, man, and it's going to suck for a while, unfortunately.